witam z tej strony Abden. Dzisiaj zaczniemy poradnik do gry Blade and Soul. Blade and Soul została wydana w 2012 roku w Korei, w 2013 trafiła na rynek chiński, w 2014 do Japonii i na Tajwan. W Stanach Zjednoczonych i Europie zagościła 19 stycznia 2016 roku. Niedawno właśnie obchodziliśmy jej pierwszą rocznicę. Przez ten rok sporo się zmieniło, poradniki jakie można znaleźć stały się lekko nieaktualne, więc zaczynajmy. W Blade and Soul mamy cztery rasy. Gon, Lin, Yun i Jin. Wybór rasy ma jedynie wpływ na to, jaką klasą postaci będziemy mogli zagrać i to właśnie na klasie postaci należałoby się skupić, gdyż każda z klas jest inna. Klas postaci obecnie jest 9. I tak dostępne klasy to Blade Master, Destroyer, Summoner, Force Master, Kung Fu Master, Assassin, Blade Dancer, Warlock i ostatnią jest Soul Fighter. The Blade Master is a popular and stalwart member of the fighting community, taken up by the tenacious Jin and the graceful Yun. Deft and agile wielder of the sword, the Blade Master is a strong adept to any situation. Maneuvering around opponents to inflict devastating, multi-strike attacks, whilst able to block any incoming harm. The Blade Master gains much of its flexibility through its battle stances. The basic stance applies a versatile range of abilities, offering equal parts, attack and defense. Draw stance emphasizes speed and damage, channeling the devastation of lightning to flash around and through adversaries, striking for massive amounts of damage and quickly eliminating the threat. A skilled Blade Master will have learned to quickly swap between the stances in battle and gain the full effect of each. In high intensity situations, the Blade Master is able to activate the short-lived but devastating Flock of Blades technique, triggering special abilities. Conjuring ethereal swords, the Blade Master can launch them to deadly effect. The Blade Master is a formidable class with very few weaknesses but no true strengths. Able to chain combos, avoid damage, and unleash the unimaginable power of their blades. Interested? Sign up for a chance to play the Blade Master in our beta. Brutal melee fighter. The destroyer uses pure strength and a giant axe to decimate their foes. <laughs> Only the Gon have the physical might and overwhelming fortitude to dominate as destroyers. Fearless and bold, destroyers drive into the thick of battle, leaving a trail of bodies behind and easily breaking any attempts to hold them at bay. Even when seemingly at their last breath, destroyers can rejuvenate safely behind their shield before unleashing their devastating fury. The destroyer can overpower any opponent, big or small, able to grab them, punch them in the air, and smash them on the ground like ineffective ragdolls. Constantly shattering their adversary's ability to stand, or even remain conscious, the destroyer's skill allows for strong coordination with team members to punish opponents for their incompetence. The Destroyer is a powerful and tough frontline fighter who dominates the battlefield and leaves their opponents in the dust. Interested? Sign up for a chance to play the Destroyer in our beta. The Summoner is unique in the martial arts community because you'll never see them alone. Only the Lin can tap into the spirit realm to summon their familiar. These two have formed a lifelong pact that cannot be broken. The familiar takes an offensive stance at the forefront. The summoner can stay back and control the battlefield from a more tactical vantage. If an opponent does break from the familiar to focus on the summoner, the summoner disappears into a cloud of dandelion seeds and spiky pods to emerge out of harm's way. Their bond is so strong, if either is to succumb to damage, the other will remain in the fight. The 
the strong control the summoner has over opponent's movements, and the skillfulness in deflecting threat to the more capable familiar, can be extended to support their allies. The summoner seems deceptively simple, but with their expert command of the battlefield, and control of a deadly familiar, it is a strong and valuable choice for any martial artist. Interested? Sign up for a chance to play the summoner in our beta. The Force Master is a dangerous wielder of the elements, able to channel their inner chi to simultaneously control ice and fire. Once restricted to only the mystical races, the Yun and the Lin, the Gan now have also learned to express their power as Force Masters. Unlike other martial arts, Force Masters must balance their elemental alignments simultaneously. Their basic abilities will activate an associated mode. Fire mode unlocks skills that deal high damage to single targets, multiple targets, and area zones, searing through opponent's defenses and reducing them to kindling. Stack embers and detonate them to truly make the opponent burn. Frost mode increases the Force Master's defenses and gives them control over the battlefield, freezing opponents in their tracks, isolating combatants, or even removing themselves from harm. Force Masters prefer to keep their distance. But that doesn't mean they can't get physical in their own way. They can penetrate an opponent's defense, leaving them dangling in midair before disposing of them neatly. The Force Master's immense power on the battlefield is countered by their need to manage their focus. Devastating bursts of damage can quickly dwindle down to nothing if not watched carefully. The Force Master is a deadly controller of the elements, able to freeze their enemies in place and then burn them to ashes. Let the fire and ice rain down. Interested? Sign up for a chance to play the Force Master in our beta. The Kung Fu Master is a highly skilled martial artist who relies on quick timing and swift reactions to defeat any challengers. The ferocious Gan and the steadfast Jin have proven themselves proficient with the discipline needed to be Kung Fu Masters, with the Yun later adding their own grace. Complete mastery of their abilities allows Kung Fu Masters to use their explosive fists, flying kicks, and body-breaking grapples to pulverize their enemies. The Kung Fu Master excels in single-target combat. They're able to find the exact pressure point of their opponent and focus completely on exploiting their weakness. With keen reflexes, they can dodge out of the way of incoming attacks to catch opponents unaware and vulnerable to counter their attacks with one of their own. The power of the Kung Fu Master is found in their ability to chain together combinations of skills controlling the flow of combat. But sometimes the power of a well-placed punch or kick is all that's needed to take an enemy down. Or in some cases, wrestle them to the ground to break their arms. As a master of a wide range of abilities, with split-second timing required, only the most disciplined are recommended to embody a Kung Fu Master. Interested? Sign up for a chance to play the Kung Fu Master in our beta. Attacking from the shadows, the assassin confounds its enemies with quick movements and precise strikes to deadly effect. Mastered only by the Jin, an assassin is an expert at stringing together their abilities to secure a kill. Adeptly employing poison for continual damage throughout a fight is just one step in the assassin's particular arrangement. Careful positioning is key for an assassin in order to initiate and execute their attacks well. Stealth stance renders the assassin invisible, enabling them to catch their opponent unaware to deal substantial damage. Decoy Stance provides an array of talents to stack poison, lay traps, disable opponents, and counter their attacks, creating chaos and confusion before quickly changing back to Stealth Stance to disappear from sight. If an assassin is discovered unawares or caught out of place, they can be at a significant disadvantage as their strength is in setting up the damage, not reacting to the environment. 
A well-seasoned assassin, however, can escape even the most difficult situations. Through advanced planning and a well-placed smoke bomb. Using stealth, poison, and precise placement of positioning and ability, the assassin is the perfect class for anyone who wants to sneak in, unleash terrifying damage on unsuspecting victims, and then disappear again into the shadow. Blade Dancer is a martial class unique to the Lin, who have taken the quick sword techniques of the Blade Master and infused it with the elemental nature of the Force Master. Maneuverability is the Blade Dancer's greatest strength. They live up to their moniker by evoking either the Frenzy of the Winds to pirouette around their opponent, chasse in and out of reach, and grand jeté with deadly grace. Or they channel the might of lightning to flash through their adversaries to strike multiple times with their charged abilities. Blade dancers need to focus on one element over another and must choose their specialization before the battle begins. Mastering the wind is most beneficial in basic stance, whereas the damage in draw stance is boosted by electric surge. But regardless of the element of choice, any opponent under a phantom grip is held to the mercy of the diminutive Lin's will as the blades themselves waltz around, carving in and through for continuous, unavoidable suffering. The Blade Dancer's high damage output is tempered by their low defenses and reliance on careful resource management. But for those who embrace the mastery of the sword, inspired by the fierceness of the storm, the Blade Dancer is a menacing hybrid of some of the deadliest martial arts. Interested? Sign up for a chance to play the Blade Dancer in our beta. The Warlock is a flashy and dynamic range caster who channels the energies of the Nether Realm to warp the natural laws that govern the land. The Jin and Lin can practice this dark art and focus their will through talismans to conjure protective charms, call forth spiritual forces, and summon a giant thrall, a dark and terrible entity pulled into the earthen realm and forced to briefly fight for its warlock master. Warlock spells attach a temporary affliction to their victims. For opponents inflicted with these brands, the damage from a warlock becomes even more deadly, while targeted enemies become overwhelmed by the deluge of fast cast abilities and the attention of the thrall. Although they are slight and fragile, warlocks counter this frailty by being able to draw the very life force from their opponents to replenish their own and can manipulate time itself to refresh their skills and keep them ready to be able to cast again. In time of need, the Warlock can trigger the devastating Soul Burn effect, giving themselves and their companions a short-lived but breathtakingly powerful boost to their abilities and wielding the awakened power coursing through their bodies. The Warlock is an extravagant yet artful casting class that plays best when they can keep things fast and furious. The Soul Fighter is a master of their inner chi, able to express their power through chilled blasts or charged fists. The Gan, the Yun, and the Jin have shown themselves to be proficient in this new martial arts form, which requires both discipline and balance in order to tame the maelstrom of their abilities. As sharp as the point of a tornado, the Soul Fighter is equally capable of close melee destruction as managing the ranged following and can be as elusive to catch as the Thunderbolt. Upon entering the battle, or at any point within, a stance is chosen. The elemental stance calls upon the Blizzard to summon winds, hurl ice, or focus their chi to maintain opponents beyond arm's length reach. The Kung Fu stance concentrates on keeping the opponent off balance, with greater damage applied when attacking from behind the enemy. Should an opponent attempt to retaliate, the quick soul fighter can dash out of harm's way and follow through with a strike of their own. With each progressive attack, the soul fighter stores chi. The height of this energy buildup will either unleash the ferocity of your fists to deal awesome damage or command the storm's fury. Evoking the Kung Fu Master's control over the Force Master's elements, the Soul Fighter is a true champion of their inner chief. Dzięki za oglądanie. Zapraszam do pozostawiania łapek w górę, 
komentowania, jak i subskrybowania kanału.